Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, More Than Purity. In this video, we will share with you information on the design of functional surfaces using chemical vapor deposition technique. Let's start with functional coatings. So basically, functional coatings are typically performed on a material surface to provide extra properties and characteristics. The coating is normally formed on the surface of material in the thickness ranging from nanometer to micrometer. Functional coatings can be applied to different substrates including textile, glass, polymer sheets, particles and metals using various techniques such as sole gel, spraying, deep coating and vapor deposition. With the presence of functional coatings, the physics and chemistry of the surfaces are able to be improved to achieve different features such as self-cleaning, easy cleaning, anti-finger and so much more. So, there are basically two main types of surface coating techniques, which are top-down approach and bottom-up approach. In the top-down techniques, polymer solution is firstly prepared before it is transferred to any substrate surface by a suitable method. Since the polymer is formed in a different place, it is easier to control its chemical structure. For the bottom-up techniques, on the other hand, Foams are formed on the substrate surface by reacting it with atoms or molecules. Now, let's move on to the surface design methods. Surface design can be carried out either based on solution-based processes or vapor-based processes. Some examples on the solution-based surface design methods are sol gel coating, spray coating, deep coating, as well as electrospinning techniques. While for the most prominent vapor-based techniques, chemical vapor deposition, physical vapor deposition, and atomic layer deposition are the most common ones. Solution-based methods are normally easier to apply, and they usually do not require any special equipment. Although vapor-based methods need special setup or equipment for the surface modification, they, in general, could form very conformal, uniform, pure and flexible coating layer compared to the solution-based methods. Next, let's learn on chemical vapor deposition or CVD. Among the vapor-based coating techniques, chemical vapor deposition or CVD is perhaps the technique that can offer many unique advantages. In CVD, foams are produced from the precursor material through a series of chemical reactions in a proper reactor. Usually, heat, light, or plasma is applied as an energy source to initiate the chemical reactions and the products obtained can be either thinned films, powders, or fibers. Besides being environmentally friendly, CVD also offers single-step process and can be easily scaled up for industrial applications. Moreover, CVD is substrate independent and can even be used to deposit material on a fragile and geometrically complex substrate. And because of this, CVD application is continuously increasing in which its market value is expected to reach more than $50 billion by the end of 2026. However, the mechanism of CVD is quite complicated. In a classical CVD process, Precursors in vapor phase will firstly diffuse towards the substrate to be coated. The molecules are then either adsorbed chemically or physically on the substrate surface. During this process, chemical reaction is taking place while some of the byproducts are dissolved back to the vapor phase. Nucleation and foam growth also occur simultaneously on the substrate surface. It must be noted that the temperature of the substrate is an important parameter for the deposition rate and final coating composition. There are many variants of CVD based on the reactor geometry, energy type, and precursor type. For instance, CVD can be carried out under atmospheric conditions or in vacuum. Also, one can perform CVD either in a cold wall or in a hot wall reactor. On the different type of CVD processes, Plasma Enhanced Chemical Vapor Deposition or PECVD and Initiated CVD, also known as ICVD, are the most widely used processes. This photo shows a laboratory scale of PECVD system placed in a fume hood. 
during the PECVD process, plasma is used to enhance the deposition reactions. Polymerization by PECVD involves creating energetic plasma ions and electrons that initiate the polymerization by breaking the bonds of the monomer to create monomer active sites. Now, shown here is the ICVD system. On the left-hand side, we can see an ICVD system with its control hardware. The inside structure of the reactor is presented next to it. In ICVD, heated filaments is placed a few centimeters above the surface to initiate the reactions. In any initiated process, the chemical species called the initiator will dissociate into reactive chemical species at low energy inputs due to their weak bonds. The basic reason behind the use of initiator in ICVD is to keep the energy low enough just to break the weak initiator bonds. Such approach can also avoid undesired monomer fragmentation and chemical functionality loss. This slide shows some of the important applications of CVD for different fields including membrane for water treatment, foams for oil or water separation, and fog harvesting. It must be pointed out that the degree of surface hydrophilicity and hydrophobicity can be flexibly achieved to meet the requirements of the process. So that is all we have for now. The technical content of this work is kindly provided by Associate Professor Mehmet Gursoy and Professor Mustafa Karaman from Konya Technical University, Turkey. We really hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive latest information. Thank you very much for watching.